so you get a chance to wear what I wore. But let me say something to you, son. As this is an apostolic father to a son. I decree that just in what prophet said, yes, that you'll do double what I did. Hey. in my life, I decree a double Ten years ago, I passed the baton to my son when he succeeded me in ministry ten years ago. That baton, as is mentioned, represents pastoral authority, pastoral leadership, but it also represents pastoral anointing for this house. You have an anointing for this house. And as you pass the baton, you're passing the anointing for this house to Pastor Baby. You're also passing the vision for this house to pass to baby. When I, my son and I were in the process of considering doing this, uh, Dr. Miles Monroe talked about passing the baton, finding a son to succeed you. And he said this, he said, when you find a son, they will love you, but not your vision. to hear that. Hmm. Pastor Wilson, he loves you. Wait, but he's yeah? going to have his own vision. Yeah. 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 Daniel Wilson to carry the baton across the finish line. It's not yours to keep. It's yours to give. And it's yours to give. It's not yours to take. It is yours to receive. And we're passing the baton. This in the relay race vernacular is the exchange zone. It's a specific place where the baton, only in this place, 15 to 20 feet, can the baton be passed. This is the exchange zone. But there's another zone that we've already been through, and that's the acceleration zone. The acceleration zone is the zone that precedes the exchange zone. 
And that zone is for the new runner coming in to start running ahead. Yeah. So that by the time he gets to the exchange zone, he's at the same speed as the one that's going to pass. Yeah. The and you all notice that he's been running. I mean, he has been running full speed. And guess what? Apostle is still running because he can't slow down. Everything has got to be the right timing when they pass the baton. But there's one more zone. There's one more zone, and that zone is the liminal zone. And I have to turn around and look at the congregation for this. It is the liminal zone. You know the word liminal. There's two. <laughs> Taken from the word liminality. You, you know who liminality is. You know what I'm saying. You use it every day. It, 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 is, it is what a pregnant woman is when she's pregnant. She's in a liminal state. She's not what she used to look like. And she's not what she's gonna look like once she drops that baby. She's in a state of liminality. It's sort of what the bulls are right now. <laughs> and I they used to be. And you all are praying that they're not what they're going to be. It's a state of liminality. Let's look at 2 Corinthians. 2 Corinthians 3 and 18. But we all, somebody say, we all, with open face, beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord, are changed in the same image from glory to glory even as by the Spirit. Church, these two brothers are prepared. He prepared to pass it. He prepared to receive it. The question is, are you prepared? That's the question. Are you prepared? And for you to have some, some apprehension, that's only normal for you to have some apprehension. It's a part of the human predicament when changes come, is to have some apprehension. But this is the problem. You can't get stuck there. And too many people see the old glory is not a problem. The new glory that God has for you is not a problem. That's, he's got that worked out. The problem is the two. Sometimes we get stuck in the two. Children of Israel got stuck in the two and they wandered for 40 years. They just wandered because they got stuck in the two. And Valley, my challenge to you, don't you get stuck in the two. Looking back on the way it used to be. Yeah. The way we used to do it. Yeah. And wanting for the old glory to come back. No, 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 no. We don't want the old glory. God has got a new glory. Yeah. Don't you get stuck in the two. Bless the Lord for Tina Rogers. Before we give the charge to you, amen. Because this has to be the final thing we do. And with joy, with gladness, with I 
ain't seen the valley this far in a long time. But I know it's going to continue. So by the glory of God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Take this baton that I've tried to hold faithfully for 38 years. And I pass it to a new generation. Thank you. 